Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be counting down my top five favorite rides at Disney's Animal Kingdom. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I am a full-time working mommy to my son Grayson who is currently seven months old. I do videos talking about anything being a mom and then also Disney related content as well as a few other things that I like to devil into. So um, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so we are starting off with number five, the Navi River Journey in Pandora, the world of Avatar. So this is one of the newest rides at the Animal Kingdom. And I actually really enjoyed this ride. Obviously it's on my list. Um, I will talk about a couple of things that I wish were different, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, so the things that I enjoy about it, uh, it's four and a half minutes, which is a decent amount of time when you're considering how long you're going to have to wait versus how long the ride actually is. Like I've mentioned in one of my previous videos, I think Disney does a pretty good job with that and making sure that you guys are not waiting hours and hours and hour hours for a minute long ride. So it's four and a half minutes. It's a boat ride. Um, the animatronic at the end is very well known. Um, it was very expensive, um, very cool. The theming is gorgeous. Of course, it's in the world of Avatar, so it's going to be bright and colorful. A lot of neon lights. Um, the visuals in this ride are gorgeous. It's a really gorgeous ride. It's really gorgeous. It's very relaxing. Anybody can ride this ride. Um, the only thing I would say for the younger kids is that it is going to be a little bit darker. I don't think it's going to be scary for anybody. Like even though it's a darker ride, um, it's got the neon lights and, and that is really cool. So I don't think it's going to scare anybody. Um, it did make it on my top five list, but I will say if they come out with any more rides and attractions in the Animal Kingdom, I don't know that it's going to make the list because I do think that they could have done a better job with it. So here's why. Um, as far as boat rides are concerned, I feel like there are plenty of boat rides in Disney World. Um, I wish that they had done some sort of drop or like a couple of drops, even if it was just like a small drop. Um, it's still a family friendly ride if you do a couple of drops. And I just feel like there wasn't enough in that aspect for the ride. Um, I do believe that they had ran out of money and they had gone way over budget on the whole Pandora project, so that's understandable. Um, but I mean, it's Disney, so they've got, you know, an unlimited amount of funds, to be honest. So I feel like they could have done more with this ride. It was a little bit disappointing. I mean, it's still a gorgeous, gorgeous ride if that's all you're looking for. Um, but I just feel like they could have taken it a little bit further. Okay, moving on to number four, the Kilimanjaro Safari. So this is not a roller coaster or a track ride. Um, you're actually in a big safari vehicle. I would equate it to like, kind of like a giant Jeep situation where it's like open. Um, it's a really fun experience. Obviously you're going to see live animals. Um, your driver is supposed to make it entertaining for you. Um, that can kind of make or break the ride. I've had several drivers who are fantastic. They tell all of the jokes in the right way. Um, they're very informative and knowledgeable. Um, and I've also had a couple of drivers who did not do a very good job. So that can kind of make or break the ride for you. As far as ride time, this ride is over 20 minutes. Um, give or take a little bit on each ride. I mean, they're physically driving the car. They've got a routine down pretty well, but I mean, it's going to vary a little bit. Um, so give or take 20 minutes, which is really a good amount of time for how long you're going to have to wait on this ride. It is very popular as are most of them on my list. So make sure you try to get a fast pass if you want to ride this one. Um, couple things to note that, um, the animals are going to be more or less active depending on the time of day and the weather. So if it's 1 p.m. in Florida, 
um, it's probably going to be pretty hot. So the animals are not going to be as active at that point in time as they would be in the morning or like towards sunset. So I would recommend going early in the morning before it gets too hot so that the animals are more active. Um, but overall, it's a really great ride. All right, moving on to number three on my list, dinosaur. So I know there are some people who do not like this ride at all. I am not one of those people. Um, I'm actually kind of worried because I feel like this ride is in need of an update or like an overhaul or some sort of refurb. I just kind of am sensing that that is going to happen in the next few years, that they might try to retheme it to something else. We'll kind of see what happens with that. Um, a movie called Dinosaur came out like several years ago, like years ago at this point, and that is the theming of this ride. Um, it's a really fun ride. So you're in a, a ride vehicle, and I wouldn't call it a track. Like I don't know what type of ride to call it, but you're in a in a vehicle, and you're like going through all of the scenery, but you're like bumping and moving it's not just like a straight shot your your vehicle kind of moves around i'm not explaining that very well um overall the ride is about three minutes in length there is a little bit of like a pre-show kind of thing that i would call it um but the ride itself is about three minutes um it's okay it's definitely going to be terrifying for children so if you've got kids who are scared of the dark um and several other things like it's going to be scary for them because it scares me as an adult um i still love the ride um but yeah I'm, I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to be overhauled with something else anyway we'll see what happens with that moving on number two is expedition everest so this is a fantastic roller coaster um obviously expedition everest is in the title so you're in Everest right or like at Everest and um, you're kind of being chased by a Yeti at some point um, it's a really great great roller coaster really great theming so the queue line is really cool um, there's a lot of different unique things that you can look at in the queue line to keep you entertained while you wait um, as far as the ride time it's about three minutes long so as far as a roller coaster is concerned again it's going to be pretty good um, wait times on this ride are generally going to be around 50 to 60 minutes on average of course it can vary depending on the year and the time of day etc but about 50 to 60 minutes I think is pretty average for this ride um, yeah, it's a it's a cool roller coaster. You don't go upside down. You do go backwards for a portion of it. So if that is something that you're worried about, this might not be for you. But for me, I love it. Um, you do go pretty quickly on this ride. Okay, number one. We have made it to my number one spot. Um, this is my favorite ride at Disney World. Just a little spoiler because I will do a video talking about my favorite rides just at Disney World in general. This is my number one and it's Flight of Passage. So if you have gotten the opportunity to ride this, am I right? Like how amazing is this ride? It is well worth every penny that they spent on it because I'm sure it was like ridiculously expensive to build. Um, the ride itself is about four and a half minutes. It's a simulator ride um, and you basically are flying on the back of a banshee throughout the world of Avatar and it is just breathtaking. It is so gorgeous, so well done. The added effects that they add to the ride, the breathing of the Banshee, um, the water, the wind, like it's so well done. I got a little bit emotional when I wrote it the first time because I was just so utterly happy and just like on another level of like bliss and excitement. So um, gorgeous, gorgeous ride. It is everything that you would ever want it to be. You're gonna have to wait forever to ride this ride if you cannot get a fast pass. 
um, which I would recommend. I would re definitely recommend to get a fast pass for this ride. Um, you're crazy if you don't want to ride it, um, unless you have some sort of underlying like metal coke condition. Um, this is a gorgeous ride. It's not scary. Um, it's just so much fun. Four and a half minutes in length, um, so it's a it's a good bang for your buck on this one. Um, the outside queue line where you're waiting in line, like in the world of Pandora is cool. The inside is not that fantastic, um, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, it's worth the wait. So like I said, get a fast pass or rope drop it. So if you don't know what rope top dropping is, you basically get to the park before they open and then the second that they open you run to the ride of your choice and I would recommend doing this. A lot of people are going to rope drop this ride but you're still going to get on without too much of a wait. Okay guys so that is my top five list for my favorite rides at Animal Kingdom. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what your favorites are and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!